Choral Singers in Harrisburg, idle with the Harrisburg Choral Society suspending activities during wartime, wanted to bring large performances back to the city after the end of the war. In 1921, J. Horace McFarlane, conservationist and horticulturist, owner of the McFarlane Printworks in Harrisburg and a patron of music in the city, funded what would become the May Festival Chorus. The chorus was the central component of the May Festival, which became a major musical event for the city. It was first under the direction of Bernard R. Mossert, then George F. Austin. In 1926, the festival chorus was headed by the conductor and composer Ward Stevens. Stevens then changed the festival in 1927 to the Mozart Festival. Ward Stevens was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1879 and moved to New Jersey in his youth. He was a gifted keyboardist and moved to Europe for nine years, studying under such notable musicians as Jules Massenet, Camille Sanson, and Charles-Marie Widor. Back in America, he worked with the Metropolitan Opera in New York, directed the New York Mendelssohn Club, and toured as an accompanist for musicians such as the violinist Fritz Kreisler. In Harrisburg, Ward Stevens elevated the festival with professional vocalists and musicians from the Philadelphia Orchestra, staging a multi-day festival including music of Mozart and others from the repertoire, but also introducing new music by contemporary composers. The festival of 1928 cost $20,000 to stage, the highest budget of any of the festivals held. The last festival was held in 1931, where, due to the Depression, McFarlane could no longer fund the festival as it was. Choral music in Harrisburg was again on hold. In 1937, a letter was circulated through the city expressing the desire to stage choral concerts for the community, gauging the interest to establish such an ensemble. The Harrisburg Choral Society re-emerged, undergoing a reorganization to once again perform concerts annually. Over the next 18 years, the society worked to remain financially solvent, competing against new forms of entertainment, such as phonograph records and television. The society faced financial difficulties, and the directorship changed several times. The director appointed under this reorganization was John Lewis Roberts, who had impressed the community leading a performance by the Sunbury Mendelssohn Club the previous year. Born in Wales, he emigrated to the U.S. to study at Columbia University and was appointed professor of music at Susquehanna University in 1925. He was well regarded and brought his academic musicianship to the chorus until his departure in 1944. His replacement, Jean Begon, was less regarded and was quickly replaced in 1945 by Martha Roberts, director of the Altoona Choral Society and the Harrisburg Choral Society's first female director. Roberts worked to take the society into newer musical directions, but the constant battle for funding clashed with her desire for larger orchestras and more challenging concerts. This tension ultimately led to her resignation, replaced first by Dr. Edward P. Rutledge of Lebanon Valley College in 1948, then Abram J. Dewhurst, who initiated the reorganization of the society and worked with the Harrisburg Community Theater in 1952. It appeared that the Harrisburg Choral Society had lost its direction and the board released Dewhurst in 1955. It was then that the board president, Dr. C. Stanley Holmes, suggested the society consider the young new music director at his church, Pine Street Presbyterian, as their new director. <laughs> 